So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. Uh, beautiful day here today. The sun's shining. Kind of a cold day though, isn't it? It is, but we're happy the sun is shining. Happy the sun is shining. No rain. Still waiting for some snow. Uh, but anyways, the other day in a video, I gave a little teaser. I told you that uh, Melissa and Eva got something new and they're all kind of guesses. And surprisingly, there were one or two that got it exactly right. I couldn't believe that. So you want to show them what you got? Ta-da! This is a uh, Sportsman 850 quad. Yeah. Now what's funny is everyone kind of started to get away from the four wheelers, the quads, and moved on to side by sides, but there is a big difference between the two. Right. What do you, what do you like about a quad versus a side by side? A quad you ride and the side by side you drive. And you can take more passengers in your side-by-side, -side, which is nice when we're going the trails with people on the property. But we, when we were first married, Mike and I both had one of these, and it was pretty sweet. We could ride. We didn't have the trails that we have now, but even running back and forth up to the orchard and back to when we bought this property and then back to where we were living, that was fun, and it was just for us. Well, then we had kids and couldn't get babysitters, and, you know, so those went away, and... Like you said, it's the uh, side-by-sides that come in handy and you can put your family in and ride around. But we wanted to have some fun. So Eva said, let's get a quad. Now these are a lot different. Now when we had, the last quad that we had oh, that's right. we did have was a yeah. little Kawasaki Bayou. Yeah. But you would have been real young, Eva. Did you ever even drive that one? Nope. Never no. did. drive me around. Yeah. Yeah. I jumped off it once. Oh yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Levi would always tell me that the brakes weren't working, and the one time we were going down to the pond, and he was like, the brakes aren't working, and I got really scared, so I jumped off. And then I was the one who got in trouble. We'll have to get Levi in here and have him tell the story about... The wagon. <laughs> that wagon. That yeah. was pretty funny. Always make sure there's a pin if you're pulling something. But this is the <laughs> Sportsman 850. Uh, it's sweet. a beast. These are way nice. different than... Uh, like, I think the last one, big yeah. one we had was a 400, which we thought was huge. Uh, we did. That was a Yamaha Kodiak. Yeah. Uh, but this has power steering. It's got 1,500-pound uh, towing capacity. This is the Polaris Lock and Ride. Uh, you can put all sorts of different attachments and accessories on this. Big toolboxes. It's got the 3,500-pound uh, winch here in the front with synthetic rope. Yep. They have different models of this Sportsman. This is called the uh, Ultimate Trail, okay. is, is what this is. And this color is? Uh, what is the color? Something charcoal oh, something? I was going to say Gobi, kind of like we had the Jeep. Yeah, this Gobi. is more gray. So far, the only thing that I don't like about it, and we haven't even really driven it much, look at the sticker for the power steering. It's crooked. Oh, -uh. Drove me crazy. I, that's the first thing I noticed. I don't know why I'm like that, but it drove me. I'm like, the sticker's crooked. Wow. But it's got 27-inch uh, tires on it on 14-inch wheels. It's, uh, it's a beast, but uh, you check got yourself a helmet there, Eva. Yeah, check out her sweet helmet. I love the coloring of that. Nice helmet. Yep. She already got her hair stuck in it. So. <laughs> yeah, she already got her hair stuck in <laughs> the snap once. Do a little quick tangle, untangle. And you know where else this will be handy is down on the, uh, at the West Virginia property. Exactly. A lot of the trees are so close. I don't even know if you can fit a uh, side by side a lot of places back there, but this will definitely. Uh, well, and if you can, getting the thing turned around is another tricky part. So this is going to be perfect because you could zip in between a tree. Yeah. A couple trees. And um, it's big enough for two passengers. You want to take I'm, it for a ride down to the woodyard, Eva? I'm trying to talk Mike into buying another one. Maybe this summer. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, down in West Virginia, what's nice is you can ride these and side by sides on the road right. down there. So, like, you get the cabin down there, you could ride these the whole way to town if you wanted to. 
Yeah, West Virginia is like a whole nother country. It, it is one of the freest <laughs> states. Pennsylvania. It is, yeah, it yeah. is. Living in Pennsylvania and then going there, it's just, you smell freedom. <laughs> and I read the other day, and uh, people have opinions on this, I'm sure, but do you know West Virginia is one of the few states you can still legally ride in the back of a pickup truck as well. Ah. We all did that as a kid. We did. That's how we got into the drive-in movies. Yeah. As you a, never rode in the back a of a pickup, did you? Nope. Just on the property. You missed so much, Steve, but growing up when you did compared to yeah. when we grew up. Dang it. Yep. Well, we'll take you to West Virginia and throw you in the back of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you can take it for a ride down to the wood yard, then I'll go over some of the uh, features on it, okay? Okay. So we were just looking at some of the, uh, the specifications. What's the front rack capacity, Melissa? The front rack is 120 and the back rack is 240. So if Eve is driving, I can rack on the front and Mike Morgan can <laughs> rack on the back. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm about 10 pounds over that. So. I think it'll be all right. All right. <laughs> so Eva is uh, very responsible and uh, she got on this the other day. And first thing she said was, I need a helmet. And I said, oh yeah, right. we're definitely getting a helmet. She definitely wanted one. But what we're gonna do, she's just gonna practice down to the wood yard back, down, back and forth, back and forth. Then like out to the mini cabin and, uh, but yeah, you're, you're a responsible kid because these are very dangerous. And man, this thing sounds great though, it does. doesn't it? it it's does. got a great sound. Uh, they yeah. make these in a 1000, which I don't oh. even know what you would do with that. Like this 850 is incredible. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what do you think do so far, them? Eva? It's really nice. Yeah, it'll be, uh, I like it. especially in the summertime, it'll be great to uh, tool around here on the property. Yep. I could actually get one of those, uh, if you guys let me use it, I could get one of those logging arches for this thing for down in West Virginia. They have logging arches <laughs> to get in between those trees. Yeah. You could just get another one. Yeah, <laughs> let's do that. Good thinking. Eva's so quick. I'm glad I have her. Show them this uh, storage in the front here. Okay. Uh, try to remember how that opens. Yeah, there you go. Oh no, over here. Oh. The back is different, so that's okay. Not, the sides are kind of deep, middle, not that yeah. deep, but they also have another one of these that you can put right on top of this. Oh, do they? You can hardly tell the difference, but it's about six inches high. Oh, okay. You can do that. Now the storage back here in the back. Yeah isn't as wide. No, but you definitely can put your lunch in there. Nice and deep. There's Lunch. a drain plug in the bottom of it. Yeah. Handgun, camera. All the... Wallet. All yeah. the essentials. All the essentials, yeah. But there's these... The way it's on here, you can tie down. So, yeah. you know, we're out and we got a... Mike needs a ride back. We can rack them up here, tie them down and... There's a lot of, a lot of talk of putting me on these racks. <laughs> bringing them back. Uh, what are else these are holes? Is this for stuff too? Yeah, I'm Polaris guessing? lock like, and ride. There's all types of things that can snap yeah. in there. Tons of different accessories. So it's almost like a Lego set. Yep. Yeah. But I like the, um, the bumpers. Yeah, that's part of the ultimate, uh, trail package as well. So these are some of the controls right here. These are your headlights, uh, low and high. Low beams are just these LEDs down here. You hit the high beams. These ones come on right here. Super bright. I had this out the other night. This is your off, run off. You start it with the key. 12 volt right here for charging your phone or whatever. 
This is for, you know, if you're not riding it a whole bunch, it's for a battery tender. You can just plug that in right there, keep your battery charged up. It's got a real nice screen on it. Uh, all kind of information on that. This has hill descent control, uh, which is basically engine braking for going, by, you know, down steep hills. This control right here controls both your front and rear brakes. But over here, this pedal that Eva is pointing out, that is just rear brake only. So that would be like if you're going down a steep hill and you just want to use your rear brakes for some more control from sliding around, that's the one right there. Here's your shifter. You got park, reverse, neutral, low, and high. Pretty basic. Don't shift on the fly, both of you. So you either pick low or high, but... Uh, I doubt you will. Yeah, you don't shift this on the fly. Well, she was struggling to shift it. And yeah, that'll it. loosen up. It's a little tight right now, but it'll loosen up over time. Yeah. Uh, one other thing I didn't mention right here. This is neat the way they integrated the uh, winch control right here. Ah. In and out on your winch. And I mentioned it's 3,500 pound with the synthetic rope, which is way nicer than a cable. You mm -hmm. don't cut your hands up on that blue synthetic rope like you do cables. Okay. So, Eva, do any of your friends have four-wheelers? No, nope, I don't think so. No? no? I met a girl the other day that's a professional go-kart racer, though. Yeah, like legit. That's pretty cool. She travels, she cybers. Sweet. Cool. Well, Eva, let's get racing. We looked her up on uh, YouTube, and those yeah. go-karts, it's yeah. like watching an Indy car. Isn't they had a camera cool? on it. Yeah. Unbelievable that how fast so cool. that thing was. But, yeah, I think this will be... Uh, a nice addition to the property here uh, for both, both, you know, work and play. If yeah. you guys let me use it. Yep. <laughs> well, we'll see. Maybe. Maybe. Hey, Eva just turned 18, so happy 18th birthday. <laughs> yeah, the end of December, 18. Yep. A little over a year ago, Ooh. you had your brain surgery. That's right. She's doing yeah. great. Now, look, she's riding the quad. We'll have to get Dr. Freelander up here and give it her a spin. <laughs> Yeah, but like I said, they're a lot of fun, can be dangerous, so you got to be careful. All right? Like most anything. Like everything. Yep. All right. Well, you want to wrap this video up, someone? As we always say, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, share with a friend, subscribe, turn post notifications on, follow our Instagram, Facebook. See you next time. Boom.